Just a thank you. A crime alert now after a bar fight leads to a deadly shooting in Northwest Miami Dade. One man was killed and another injured in the gunfire over the weekend. And today we're learning more about the victim. Local 10 News reporter Trent Kelly is live at the scene as police investigate. Trent. So Syra and Annalise, that victim has now been identified as 45 year old Travis Sims. Sims, we know, was here at this bar early yesterday morning when he was shot and killed by someone outside those bullets hitting one other person as well who was later taken to the hospital as of today police are still investigating this case trying to figure out who exactly was the shooter here a deadly shooting outside of a miami dade bar leaving one man dead and sending a second to the hospital early sunday just one day before labor day the victim now identified as 45 year old travis sims according to police it all happened around 5 20 yesterday morning when officers got an alert about possible gunfire from a shot spotter detection device near the tropicana bar on northwest 79th street and 10th court once there first responders found sims suffering from multiple gunshot wounds before pronouncing him dead at the scene. According to a relative, all of this started when Sims got into an argument with another patron inside the bar. After leaving, that's when this relative says the very same person confronted Sims outside and shot him up to 10 times. Sims' body was later discovered by police here on the pavement, the spot marked by detectives. Investigators later learning of a second shooting victim who self-transported to Hialeah Hospital before being transferred to Miami's Ryder trauma. Their possible involvement still being investigated by police. Cameras rolling as detectives spent hours on scene Sunday, blocking off the nearby street as police took photos and collected evidence. So far, a description of the shooter has yet to be released. And as of this afternoon, the bar here remains closed. So far, we have not been able to get in touch with anyone who works here. By the way, we are told that Sims leaves behind a teenage daughter. Crime Stoppers now offering a reward of up to $5,000 for anyone who can provide information that leads to the arrest of the shooter. And a reminder, you do not have to provide them with your name. For now, that is the latest live from Northwest Miami-Dade. I'm Trent Kelly, Local 10 News. All right, Trent, thank you. And